Imagine taking all your old toys, broken CDs, and things most people would toss in the trash and turning them into something like this, or this. This is Tom Dininger, sculptor behind these 3D collages. He travels the world collecting objects that will bring these sculptures to life. And the thing that inspires him is junk and lots of it. So he began piecing that waste together to make something totally new. Depending on where you're standing, the new sculptures can look wildly different. And sometimes, if you dig deep enough, you'll even find a hidden compartment. But these pieces don't come together easily. I get asked a lot how I start these things. And uh, what's interesting is I start with a drawing, but then you can't keep that drawing. So that goes away real fast. Then, things become a lot more freeform. Tom sorts through hundreds of objects to find the right colors and shapes. It's part scavenger hunt, part compliance with whatever material you have to make it work. It's this kind of dance uh, between taking what you have around you and then keeping an eye peeled for the perfect thing. Finding materials is the easy part. He uses a lot of pieces that are broken or would otherwise get thrown away. And he's been known to dumpster dive here and there. Assembling those pieces is where it gets tricky. There's no secret formula or special trick to knowing where everything should go. He's constantly swapping out objects with different forms, textures, and sizes. And once he's found the perfect arrangement, it's time to connect it all together. To do that, he uses a ton of hot glue and string. But at the end of the day, it's really just whatever works, whether that's screws or epoxy or fishing line. Once everything's in the right spot, the hundreds of pieces look like one whole image. It's a love-hate relationship with the materials themselves. I'm inspired by them, and I'm kind of repulsed by them in a certain capacity. By using trash to create art, his sculptures become more than just an optical illusion. 